order something on Amazon, that product will often be put in stock a couple of days before you've ordered it. So in a sense, Amazon knew what you were going to order before even you did. Now think about it. How long is it going to take before Amazon just starts to send you packages before you order them? It's going to happen. They've already got a patent on it. You're going to get home, there's a box from Amazon. You go, that's weird, I didn't order anything. You're going to open it up, you're going to look inside. There's something there you want. Oh, that's not good. I knew Alexa was listening. What are you going to do? You're going to send it back, aren't you? Just to show Jeff Bezos, who's boss. And then a few days later, someone's going to have to reorder it again because you probably didn't need it. And these are the sort of algorithmic paradoxes that we all struggle with, that your kids will just accept as totally normal. Because one of the consequences of these smarter supply chains, you know, these real-time algorithms that configure the world around us, is that it's going to change the way we live. It's going to transform our cities. It's going to change our homes, our living rooms, our kitchens. I mean, why will anyone need to have a gigantic refrigerator anymore when you have not only smart lockers, but you're getting daily fresh deliveries? The thing you have to really pay attention to, though, is not just what's happening here in the United States. You need to pay very close attention to what's happening in China. Because China already has three times as many smartphone users as in the United States. You know, we talk about flying cars. The Chinese have already figured out how to turn a consumer drone into a real-life autonomous vehicle, which is already going into piloting as we speak. And more than that, China is a post-cash, post-credit card society. I mean, let's say about, I think they estimated about 14 million Americans used Apple Pay last year. 500 million Chinese used their phone to pay for something last year. So this is really just a numbers game. I mean, if you think Uber is interesting, uh, the Uber of China, Didi uh, Chaoqing, has 400 million registered customers in more than 400 Chinese cities and does 25 million rides a day. 